The card pull tonight is from The Universe Has Your Back. And the card that I pulled is True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. And this was right on for a couple of reasons today. Um, and it was so fun to see how the stones uh, that got pulled aligned with this as well. And so our affirmation today is, I am brave. I am fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust that they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve, and I welcome healing, refreshing, and life. And so this first one here that we're coming into agreement with is um, a petrified wood. And uh, so we're coming into agreement with just a general sense of well-being. It promotes peace during crisis or transition. And so when we're having those moments where we're feeling triggered, it just helps us to feel grounded. And so we're just coming into agreement with that right now. Thank you. Obviously, we're using our Palo Santo as always, which helps to create a sense of general well-being, as well as just clearing, clearing any negative energy. And so we just thank you right now. I am brave. I am fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers, because I trust they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve, and I welcome healing, refreshing, and life. And so part of what this affirmation is reminding us, whether you're in a moment where you're triggered or whether it's preparing you for future moments when you get triggered, it's helping to retrain your thoughts on how you respond to those triggers. And so when we get triggered, choosing to be intentional to allow the feelings to speak to us. Why are we feeling a particular way? Where is that hurt coming from? Where is the anger coming from? Whatever feelings are arising there, just allowing ourselves to feel those and just letting them come to the surface and just having a deeper understanding of what's behind those. So that's what we're coming into agreement with here. And so um, anyone who does these with me regularly knows I typically have one of my crystal wands. Um, and so the one tonight, which is a beautiful star garnet with some um, uh, golden root tile um, on those sides, actually. <laughs> and so part of one of the meanings that goes with this particular wand is that it helps shift old patterns into ones that serve you better. And so that's literally what we're coming into agreement with tonight, is to shift those old patterns, to shift those old patterns, to shift those old patterns. So when we have these triggers, you know, the triggers are from previous experience typically. And so there's something that's been hardwired in our system. You know, it, it's like a dog learning to cower when somebody comes at them aggressively because they have been beaten repeatedly or something like that. So their trigger is that they cower because someone is coming at them. And so even when someone doesn't mean them any harm, they still are having that response. And so the fear response is natural given the history, but there are times where it begins to inhibit us later because we've moved past the season when that response was necessary but we're now programmed to respond that way. And so it's important that we take the time to pause and to look at our triggers as they come up and to see, is this trigger 
like showing me feelings that need to be felt and addressed and released. Like, is this something I still need to hold on to? And so that is what we're coming into agreement tonight with just agreeing. I am brave. I am fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve, and I welcome refreshing and healing. I welcome healing, refreshing, and life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also have a smoky here <clears throat> and this smoky quartz is an unusual one because it has had the mica that was connected to it removed and I particularly resonated with this piece of smoky because it felt like um, <laughs> you know like it had been you know that the the shiny sparkly like glitz and glamour had been removed and this is what's left and you sort of feel like you've been picked over you know what I mean you're like a carcass laying there and the birds are picking over you and that that's what this feels like to me and it just reminds me of that um, energy if sometimes we just feel like we've just gone through it and there's like nothing left of us and yet smoky is um, used for transmuting energy and so we're just coming into agreement that we are fully able to move through these things that have just literally left us feeling devastated and completely used up and picked over. And yet we come out the other side, you know, beautiful and firm and strong and whole. And so we just, again, say, I am brave. I am fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust that they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve. And I welcome healing, refreshing, is the emotional body and so just coming into agreement with that right now just an easing thank you thank you easing i literally am seeing like you know someone's foot easing off of the gas pedal so like as you're feeling that trigger like the the pressure of it is lifting it's just coming into agreement with that i'm brave i'm fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust that they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve and I welcome healing, refreshing, Check today, which is an orca carnelian and a scolocyte. 
and just coming into agreement with supporting an accurate self-perception and encouraging positive self-esteem. So in other words, don't get down on yourself when you get triggered. There's nothing wrong with the fact that you're triggered. It's just, a, it's like a neon sign pointing, pay attention to this, that's all. And then we're also coming into agreement with just protecting against, you know, negativity, you know, negative emotions from within or without. feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust that they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve and I welcome healing and refreshing in life. Yes, I welcome healing, refreshing in life. I welcome healing and the last stone that I have is a smoky citrine and so here we're just coming into agreement with infusing joy and so as we release these triggers, we can just move into a space of joy. And so we're going to, as we're coming into agreement with this, we're also first going to do the affirmation. But then I want to take a moment. There's a, there's a visualization that we've done before. Where we're picturing a house that has had all the doors and windows closed for an extended period of time. And everything is stagnant and dusty. And then you just throw open the windows and the doors and the air the wind just blows through, bringing through life and refreshing, cleansing out the debris and the dust, just blowing it out in a way. And we're just going to come into agreement with that and just picture that as if that's us. As we breathe in, it's the refreshing and the healing and that stirring life coming in. And as we exhale, we're just releasing those things that no longer serve, the things that are you know, causing these triggers that don't need to be part of our existence anymore. We've, they've served their usefulness and we're ready to let them go. And so we're just coming into agreement with that right now. So I'm going to start with the affirmation and we'll move into that visualization. So I am brave. I am fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust that they're being brought to my attention for my healing and my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve, and I welcome healing, refreshing, and life. And so you're just gonna breathe in, and picture that wind blowing through the house, just blowing through, bringing life, blowing out the dust from the corners, and just exhale, just release it. As you breathe in, feel that air blowing through, blowing through, blowing through. And then as you exhale, feeling that refreshing, just all of that exhale, just leaving all of the debris is going, no longer is part, no longer serves. It's being released, released. Shiki, 
Atia Shikia Makora Paranai Shiana Nakia fully willing to allow myself to feel whatever feelings may lie below my triggers because I trust they're being brought to my attention for my healing and for my good. I release any patterns or behaviors that no longer serve and I welcome healing, refreshing, and life. I welcome healing, refreshing,